all in the same breath, I, you know, I've got a car lot too. Well, I don't love them, though, so they might let me go back. But uh, what I'm saying is, if it's your business, I just don't, I don't see how you can get anything any cheaper than $1,000 a month. And if you need something, if, if you've got this under contract to where the county cannot do nothing with it, if it's yours, so to speak, I mean, we own it. Yeah, but if you've got a contract to where you're able to do as you please and let planes come in or do whatever, I mean, what are we getting? And I don't know. What am I trying to say? From them, it says to avoid Polk County having to pay their matching funds, I entered into an agreement to prepay. And it was a win win <laughs> agreement for Polk County. But was that just so they didn't have to pay for the hangers at the time? Well, when we got to the airport in 06, all of us there was a 1965 hangar, it had animals living in it, just played. Um, nothing else there, no fuel, no other hangers. Uh, my father-in-law spent uh, a lot of money to fix up the first hangar. Then we started trying to get fuel. I had fuel up in there for Which I used to I used to run on the runway before you put up the fence, so I can't get in now. But um, I mean, there was, <laughs> it's okay. Um, but the, I mean, there was people that was using it then too. So I I mean, I don't know if they still use it or not. Using it. I mean, they would fly in and out. Oh, yeah. And our so chair, um, years ago, <laughs> um, and was talking to my father-in-law when he was out there looking at the airfield. He said, oh, yeah, we, we had drug deals going down there. It was all sorts of stuff. And with lights, first of all, uh, people, pilots don't fly in there at night unless it's a person. And those precision approach lights are giving them uh, a way out if they have to lose a motor in the mountains. And we have cameras. I'll, I'll show you all my cameras. We have cameras all around there, and yeah, I look at them 24-7. Well, I mean, those planes, like you could hear over that, because I remember, like they would come down, and they would never land, and then they'd go back up. And they were dropping them at the very end of the infield toward the wood side, off the road side. So, I mean, how is those camera lots going to keep that from being another problem? Because they can easily walk through the woods because there is a road that goes And we got poachers using the road, and we caught, well, we had we had a lot of people out there finding them and picking them up. But uh, yeah, they have huge hands all over the road. But my, my grandparents live right there. Oh, I know. And I mean, I don't want this drug problem. I mean, and if these students that, I mean, I'm really worried about my grandparents' house because these people well, don't have Well, my grandparents' house is way off the runway. But mine isn't. <laughs> so, well, I mean, can you see my concern about them people coming through my house? I can't. Everybody around there for that. Have you, we're getting uh, close here. Have you got any more suggestions for revenue at the airport? Anybody? Uh, well, it's, you know, that's what, I mean, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. What are we making? I, I mean, that's, what are we making? I mean, uh, and, you know, and I understand, don't get me wrong, you've got a love for aviation. I'm not trying to take that away I from you. Yeah. But, but, yeah, but my thing is, do we have, do we have little sightseeing planes that people are getting on and paying us to take that ride, you know? Or we, we have a helicopter? Yeah. I, I, I see, I mean. But we have jets that fly in from Louisiana. The, what do they pay us? Six people in, in that jet, there's one way more than that. But as far as that, I mean, if they're coming all the way to Louisiana, I mean, if they had the land in Cleveland, I don't think that'd be a deal, kid, because the river ain't much farther from Cleveland than it is Duck Town. Yeah. I mean, well, we've had the same jets coming in here for years, and, and everybody at Lands or Air Force said this is the best kept secret, and I said I don't want it to be a secret. This is Polk County, and I'm trying to get all the revenue I can for Polk County. Well, and I, I appreciate that, and I'm glad that, you know, well, but, but it's just hard for me to, to <clears throat> justify when I, I don't have any figures to tell what we're making. Well, this I, is too much to be, I mean, to us aside three men. Yeah. Y'all want to discuss it? Bill, me, me, too? Well, I think it's going to have to be discussed yeah. further. Or let's I, say, say, I mean, because I'll have to I'll have to table this next month. I think Mark's got a question. Just one. Uh, on average, I'm going to have to 
how many planes land are they? Yeah, that's good. Average, uh, maybe three or four. And when we have uh, our construction pilots, pilot air students, then they're flying in and out uh, throughout the day. So uh, as far as people coming from other states, landing and, and doing tourism, probably three or four. Uh, I got everybody coming in tomorrow, like five people are going to fly far around. But do they, do, but do we get anything out of them landing? <laughs> no, no but, but okay. there, so that's our problem. We get nothing out of us. That's right. They're, they're, they're <laughs> gradually growing this up. We got sixty-three dollars a month before we came along. Well, I'll tell you that's the part. When I go on vacation, I ain't found one thing free. You know, I mean that—that's what blows my mind about us not getting. Get, just like rafting, you know, it's your yeah. fuel on top of the, the money for the revenue. Yeah, but you know, that's all well and good, but that's been going on for all these years with like it is. So when we start talking about spending this kind of money, we need to be talking about some kind of more revenue coming in, in my opinion. Maybe I'll get the biggest of on our dollars. Shut up. Right, right. And I agree with you. We're not good, man. So we'll, uh, we'll discuss this again next month. It'll be on the East End again. Jack, I'll be back on the end of the next month. Next is, uh, if uh, we probably combine these two, we've got the uh, strife in the courthouse and community center parking, and uh, cleaning the community center and the ground. Two things, we probably combine these into. Yeah, real, real quick. I do have. Uh, Little bit just to kind of let everybody know, I'm sure if you look around at this courthouse and you come up and get these clean. Our ground needs clean. I've already talked to Westport Fire and Rescue. Uh, they're going to bring their ladder trucks out and start the fresh wash for the courthouse, bring it down. That'll save us a, a JOG high lift rental fee. Uh, they're going to be nice enough to, to come out and help us with that. And then also, I've talked with Mr. Keith who does the uh, Trustees and bring the trustees out to get the sidewalks, the walls, and the parking areas around the courthouse as far as to took care of. I've also talked to uh, Tim Woody, who's over with our, who's over our veterans affairs. Uh, his concern, as he and I talked, was the lack of parking, especially for our veterans in and around the courthouse. As well, others concerned as far as the handicap accessibility. So, um, Tim and I, we walked out and kind of looked. I called and called a different one. The problem is, nobody wants to come out and do no more than what we got. I know you're supposed to get three bids, but when you call four or five people and they ask how much you got, you tell them 12 parking lots and they'd like to strike them. They're like, I don't want to do that. They want to do 25, 35,000 square foot before they ever even come fire up and do to do. Anyway, our plan is is to take this side of the courthouse, south side, from stop sign to stop sign, and make this handicapped and veterans accessible. That way, they would basically designate two stalls for our veterans at any point in time. A lot of the times, the, the veterans that come in and out are in for a brief moment, get the paperwork done, and then they kind of move on. So, two stalls would be fitting for the veterans as well as it can help them utilize for the handicap accessibility because handicap accessibility comes back in on this side. If you got somebody that's handicapped parked here in a wheelchair, they got to roll uphill and try to stop themselves going down to get into our courthouse. So that's part of, of, the, of the courthouse and some of the planning that we have going on. Uh, also, there is a price that was given as well if the, and it's, it's $350, uh, I know some said you can take care of that in your own. If I can, I will. And we'll get this side of the courthouse took care of at an estimate of $350. I've got plenty of copies of those around late on time. Also, though, there was a price turned in for $350 to do the outer side of the courthouse. That's the area that's striking that. That's kind of in front of the other businesses and the bank. And then back down around to include what bars are legally done. Um, then up at the community center of the Town, uh, we talked. Where I talked with East Polk Fire and Rescue. Uh, Mike Worley has assured me any time that we get ready to wash that building to get it ready. Um, 
I do have, uh, I'll not even try to look because it's, it's even more, it's up around 4,000 for the striping of it. I'd like to kind of wait a little while and, and talk to you a little more because that is to do, from what I understand, from the pool all the way up, but also those of Mr. Kennedy, Bill, and Cranston that live up there, if you drive around the side of it, it's in pretty bad shape. So if we did a community cleanup day, I mean, there's pressure washers on there. I wouldn't mind helping clean it. The only thing with that is, is when you start trying to go to individuals, where I can get with these folks prior to rescue, they've assured me that they would bring their crew. And if anybody wants to come with them, I'll, I mean, I'll be sure to let everybody know that. Money. You know, and then as well, once again, the trustees to go up and, and work on doing that. You know, and I would ask the community to get involved, you know, to help out with their trustees. I don't know if you read the Pope Game News two weeks ago, but they're funding. And I know I've heard a lot of stuff. I've caught a lot of calls. I've caught a lot of calls from Shiloh. I've caught a lot of calls from everybody. There's a fund set up and there's some trustees, some inmates, if you would. I know when I'm pastor of the church, I shoot my church out for calls. There's a fund there. You can write a check, put your directly in there. The Jason Lambs here, they don't get weapons, they don't get tasers or nothing else out of that fund. That goes directly to those inmates to do Equipment, right? equipment, correct. Yes, equipment. And to take care and get things done for them. Here's the important thing. Does that feed them out of it? I don't know there's much food. I think that more comes out of the pot. The community's pretty good about it. Get food and yeah. And that's what I would ask. I think that's pretty solid. Oh, yeah. And that's what I'd ask whenever we're doing this. If you see the inlay itself, yeah. you know, help them out. It, it, it don't cost much to get a dollar piece to treat one another. I will say something on that though. My father is the one that takes around the inmates and they do need money for lawnmowers, weed eaters, gas, everything. I mean, that's what that fund is for. That is to help them do that. And it all goes through your office, don't you? The money. So I mean, it's accounted for and spent like everything is exactly what it's earmarked for. You know, and it's something other to remember, and I think Gina will agree with me on this, that there's no money there, it's going to be hard to pay. Mm -hmm. And I, as a county executive, when there's no money there, and it's going to be hard to pay them, we're going to have to cut some. I don't want to see that cut. That's a great thing for those young men, and I'll just be honest, I know a lot of them. I had the opportunity to witness a lot of them, too, being a pastor. The only reason why they're in there and some of us aren't, because they got caught. So remember that. And, you know, like I said, if anybody had anything, if I could take care of them, I'm just going to go out there. If y'all want me to do both sides, look at both sides, $700 for the courthouse. That'll put the veteran stripe in the handicap parking on the south side of the, of the courthouse area. But that, I'm hoping that we get that done by veterans. So, you know, it's warm weather coming up. Tim and I talked about that. I'm hoping that we can get that part done. But it also depends with the weather and the things of that nature. So we have the courthouse clean. And I, I just don't want people on the side to say, well, he's doing nothing for us. It's just one that's a lot bigger part. What's the big thing, John? What the hell? No, 5,000. I thought it was lowest. 5,000 state breaks. 5,000 state breaks to pretend that we left there. What left there? 5,000. Is that all right? We take care of that. Both sides. I see a lot of heads on the left. And there you're a bunch of them. Pardon me? Spending it out here. Yes, like I said, I have the I have the bids here and it was turned in by Ryan Potts about the first driving. I've got plenty of them and what the office and I encourage if you got any parking lots, use Ryan. And you also want to check the city. That is city streets out here. Yes, I will check the city of people. Anybody else want to talk to me? That's me doing it. Next is a announcement statement. Any announcements, any statements? Steve, you're a man when you have any updates on the veterans. And I'll, if you've got some kind of good news. I just want to say to the, all the county commissioners, I spoke with Mark, Steve Norwood, finance officer, local post, state the first vice commander. <coughs> our local land base post meets the second Monday of every month, 6 30 in this room. We're open to the community. It's not a closed session. We come to this community and we ask you to support our veterans. We have fundraisers. 
We know we're directly asking you to take money out of your pocket and give to us. If you're willing to do that, we owe you the right to look at our books anytime and ask us questions about where the money's at. The biggest thing we want you to know, if there's a veteran in need in this county, contact one of us. If there's one that's sick, anything about a veteran, we're here to help. You need to get in touch with me. Tim's got all my contact information. We're doing good, Greg. Well, they're done. Y'all are. I mean, you know how you have all horror stories about the veterans and veterans. Well, I was the first one to tell. I was the first one to tell y'all when I came in here, the county commission. I'm a veteran. I'm gonna be honest with you. Veteran service organizations nationally got a bad reputation. That's when we came and told the commission. Tim spoke first with the sheriff. We will never own a home post, a canteen. My words I use is Polk County boy. We're not gonna have a beer joint. We're not gonna waste our money keeping a building up doing things like that. We're going to meet up here in the courthouse and put our money back in this community where it goes and gain the trust of our local community. Please, please keep up with Jeff and the Polk County News on Ambex uh, bulletins. We'd love to see you on Veterans Day. So far, y'all done. Back to what you said. It's been, I don't know, I mean, just all the good news are since y'all started. So that's a change. We got shoes for one of our kids, too. Stop it. No, uh, all you newly elected officials, I need your information to change the website. So I need your picture. Go on to the website, print it out, show me what you want to change on the page. I've already changed the executive page somewhat. I put the new commissioners on, but I need your information to put on the website. So if you'll print out the pages and then circle and mark whatever you want on there. <coughs> Also, with our, the, the insurance man will be here. Is he tomorrow or Friday? Insurance tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is yeah, tomorrow Friday. 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 <laughs> Friday. 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 Tomorrow is 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 Friday. Tomorrow is